my lovelies. Welcome to my channel, Divine Truth 3333. I am Divine, also known as Auntie Bam, the auntie you can't put on speakerphone. Yes, that's me. Welcome. What's going on? What's been happening? I know I've been in my A for a couple weeks, but I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Really hadn't went anywhere, but here I am. Come to give you your Freedom Friday. Now, if you are new to my channel, welcome. If you come back to my channel, welcome back. Okay? So, Freedom Friday, if you don't know what Freedom Friday is by now, Freedom Friday is a place where we can be totally free. We talk about all of the kink, all of the fun, all of the adult stuff. So you must be 18 years or older to view this video. If you're not 18 years old, shut it down, please, because I don't want no shit. Mm-mm. I don't want nobody's mamas messaging me, talking about where you accept the no, 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 18 or older, okay? And whoever enjoys the kink, whoever enjoys the freedom of being free. So here we have no labels, no boundaries, no limits, absolutely no judgments. So we're just going to have adult fun and we're going to talk about some nasty shit because I'm a nasty motherfucker. Ah, okay. That's me. Come on in, bring your spirits. We're going to have fun. Now, I also do an adult reading and it's a general reading. Take what resonates with you. If it does not resonate, let it go. So if it does not apply, it must fly. Okay? We got that together. All right. So, what are we going to talk about today? I don't know. Let's see. Um, something that's kind of been on my mind and kind of like, hmm. I know we talked about pleasures and different things, but I want to know how is it that, um, cause I don't know too much about this, but how are your poly nominous, uh, relationships? How do they work for you? Do they, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Those of you that are in poly relationships, let me know. How does that work? How does that go down? I'm single. I'm single, single. I'm like single, single with nobody even looking. So if you got any uncles, granddaddies, cousins, nephews, uh, uh, long distance friends or whatever. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but I'm single, single. So I'm usually go with the traditional monogamous relationships but you know if you out here dating and you dating this person dating that person why not i don't think i would commit to like just like a group but how do y'all feel about the polys let me know because i want to know i want to know if it's something i want to get in off into because this single thing it's just not happening for me. I have tried online dating. I have tried online dating websites after websites. And these people, they either go scam you or they, they, they crazy. And they crazy don't match my crazy. So fuck that shit. I'm, mm -mm. I need to see you. I need to see you. I need to get into your energy. I need to see what you're feeling about. See if your crazy match my crazy. Because you can tell me anything over the internet. You can tell me anything. You can say anything. And it can go. But I want to know, like, meeting face to face, what the fuck is going on. So, you know, that's how I do it. But I want to know, like, you know, shit. If he ain't available, maybe I can call him. But we all know and we okay with, you know, you with her and you with her and you might be with me or 
we all together, <laughs> you know, <laughs> that might be something else too. Well, I'm going to save that one for the next um, Freedom Friday, okay? Um, <laughs> but yeah, the poly nominous, am I saying that right? Probably not, probably not, but you know what I mean. The relationships where it's more than one person in the relationship, it's multiple people in a relationship and you're all okay with it. And y'all have the most amazing sex because I think that it could be like, I can piece about three or four of my exes together to make one good, to make my ultimate man. And that's one uh, with the mushroom dick. Yes. The one with the bomb head. Yeah, I could do that. And the one that's very sensual and kissy and oh, and the one that gives the bomb massages. Mm. I'm back. So, yes, you know, and and whatever you feeling like that day, you just go ahead and call that one. You know, I want to know. I want to damn know. I want to know. So, if you know anything about that, come on, y'all. Say something. Put something in the comment section. Now, I have some new decks here. And um, the decks that I'm using will be in the description box below, okay? So, um, you'll see who it is, what it is, and these nice, fine cards that we got going on. So, what we're looking for is a reading, something that you need to know, something that's sensual, something that's sexy, some kind of something you need going on in your life. Some kind of kink you need. And, you know, don't be scared of the kinks. It's okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's already popping off. Already. It's already popping off for you. So, um, yeah. And then, you know, let me know what would be... How would you piece how would you piece your perfect person together for your pleasures? Not for, you know, oh, I need, you know, her to make six figures. You're looking for the six figure person. And, you know, no, 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 no. We're not looking for the six figure person. We're looking for the pleasure person. So maybe, you know, they might turn you on by the way their bodies and their curves are, or, you know, if that nigga dick is hanging, or, you know, he might have a little tight booty, or broad ass chest, or, you know, I like, I like big men. I like big, strong, broad, cross the shoulder, you know, tight men with a thick neck. Oh, he gotta have a thick neck. I love a thick neck. And, some kissable lips, you know. So, um, how would you piece together your like I said, I, I I will piece mine together just like that. I will have if I can get one man to have all of those features, <laughs> I would never leave. Never. Now you're not getting me out the house. I'm gonna be right here waiting on you. Yeah. What you want to eat today? <laughs> we cook in the day. <laughs> We cooking today. What you want to eat? We cleaning today. You want starch on your shirts? <laughs> yeah, I just had so much fun with y'all. So look, these cards ain't popping like they like I thought they was. This guy, you got the Ace of Pentacles, and this this one right here is telling me, you know, you you coming out like the bear. <laughs> You coming out with some strong strength, some 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 beginnings of something that needs to pop off. Are you suppressed about something? Are you sexually suppressed? I don't know. I don't know. But this bear on here is telling me that it's going to happen. But you coming through. Okay, say that you are suppressed. I know. 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 I know.
who I am. But say that you are suppressed. Whoever you are, I'm talking to you. You. You're a little suppressed, but don't worry about it. Let's see how this bear coming through. This bear coming through. About to run it. You're about to do something. You're about to get down. You're about to get down, baby. Oh, shoot. Okay. 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 Oh, that's a lot. Then you have the chariot. The chariot. You're going to... Oh, it's about to pop off quick. It's about to come through really fast. Really fast. Then you have um, the nine of swords. The nine of swords. The nine of swords is... You know, it's all in your head. It's all it's keeping you up at night. You're worrying about nothing. You're worrying about nothing. It's coming. It's coming. Just be a little patient. It already says it right here. But when you come through, you're going to be a beast. Okay? When it does pop off, you're going to be a beast. Okay? The four swords. Get you a little rest. Mm -hmm. Get you a little rest. From all this goddamn worrying. Stop worrying so much about shit and what people think and what you ought to be doing. Don't let society fuck you up. Get, get your shit on. Do what you're supposed to be doing and not be worrying about shit that don't even matter. Don't worry, okay? And get you some goddamn rest. Get some rest. Rest up. Because when it does pop off, it's going to pop off. Then you have the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands is once again, you're all in your own head. You're putting too much on yourself. You're putting too much on yourself. You see how the person just sitting there praying, Lou, please, please just go. Look, it's coming. Okay? It's coming. It really is coming. It really is. Okay. This Ace of Pentacles is letting you know that it's coming through and it's going to come through strong. Uh, if it's meant to come out, it'll come out. Okay. But it's going to come through strong. Very, very strong. So you need to be prepared. That's what this chariot is. The chariot is telling you to be prepared because it's coming through and it's coming through fast. It's not going to take long. So whatever it is that you're waiting on, that you're suppressed about, that man or that woman or whatever it is, whatever your preference is, that poly relationship, it's about to pop. It's about to come together. But you're worried about what people are thinking. You're worried about the wrong shit. <laughs> That's what you're worried about. Worry about yourself. Get yourself together. Get this is saying, get the, the, the four swords. This is saying, get yourself together. Rest, meditate, get into it. Oh, you put that meditation on them. And you come out like this motherfucking bear. That's what's going to pop. But you've prayed. And you did all and meditated a lot. It's coming. Just be a little more patient. It's okay. It's all right. Just keep it popping. Let's see, is there any more before I move on to the next sexy? Oh, shit. Shucky ducky, that's too many. <laughs> but anyway, yes, it looks good. You're just all in your own head. That's all it is. So, poo poo. Poo poo in their own head, yes, sir. Is or him is. Oh, oh, let's see. Okay, okay, we have the Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords. Okay, the Ace of Swords is another beginning. Something's coming through. Something's going to happen, but it's going to be some truth to it. That's going to, that's going to lay down what you need. It's the true you. That's what it is. That's what I feel it is. That's what I know it is. It's the true you. Cut that other bullshit out. Let it go. 
It's a new something. This is a new something. This is a new you. Let it come through. Then you also have the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups is about decisions and options. You have plenty of... Oh, damn. Mm. There's your poly relationship, baby. There it is. There's your options, okay? That's Seven of Cups. Be very mindful of your options, though. Be very mindful of, of who you let in to your circle. Because not all cups are good cups. Not all cups runneth over. <laughs> Be very, very, very careful of the cups that you choose. You're going to have a few options. No, you're going to have a lot of options. And choose wisely. Go with it. Choose wisely. Um, continue to pray and meditate. Okay. Continue to do that because that's where you're going to decide on your options on who you want to let in or let go and have at it. Okay. All right. Well, here we go. The six of cups right at the bottom of the deck. That's your overall energy. The Six of Cups. Six of Cups is all about happy, good times, love from mm, give and take of the love. So it's about balance. And, and, and you see that? You see how they give and receive? They give and receive? That's what the Six of Cups is. That's, that's what you're looking at. That's the bottom of the deck. Let's move on to my nice, fine erotica deck. This erotica deck tells you about some kinky, freaky, nasty shit that needs to pop off in your life. This one needs to go on. Erotic life. This one needs to happen. And... You know, it's all fun. It's all fun. And, you know, we love fun. Gotta have fun. Keep it spicy. Keep it kinky. And keep it going. Let's see what happens here. Let's see what nice, fine message do you have for my people in the erotica form. In, the, in their nastiness. In their nastiness. What type of nasty, kinky things do we want to let them know? Nasty, kinky. And, you know, nasty, kinky is good. You know, you know we don't judge here. If that's what you want to do, it's fine. You can do it. You can do it. It's all good. Okay. We have enough cards. <laughs> Somebody got some unfinished business. There you go. You got unfinished business. I feel you on that unfinished business. Finish that shit up. Clean that shit up. Go on, clean it up. Clean that shit up. It's good. Oh. Mm -hmm. Somebody's going to get punished because they've been a brat. A naughty, naughty girl. Oh, boy. You've been naughty. And you're going to get it. Let's see what else we didn't spread it out to be. We got sex on the beach. Y'all live near some beaches or something? What's going on? It could be a drink. Very well could be get you a sex on the beach and punish that mother. Get that punishment going. You got obedient submissive have you ever been submissive i mean like that shit is so hard for me because i'm more of a take control throw you down run up on you get it get it get it you know i'm not the kind that's like okay whatever you want i'll do it for you I, mm. but i can see how that can turn you on be submissive 
Try that out for a time or two. See how that works for you. And then the watch me play, FaceTime or in person. I'm going to talk about this one first. <laughs> That's a hungry beast. That's a hungry beast, baby. Uh, didn't I tell you about that? Didn't I tell you about the hungry beast? It's going to happen. It's going to happen. So if you have a hungry beast, feed that motherfucker. Feed it. Because it's hungry. And when something is hungry going to be good. Promise you. Now, that watch me play FaceTime or in person, that shit's so much fun. That is so much. Wait a minute. Hold on one second here. Yeah. Now, when you FaceTime somebody and you in your mood, you might have on your little lingering, and you might not have on the damn thing. But however, when you're ready to do this, let's start with FaceTime. Dial that motherfucker up. Just have it laid out for him. Just have it laid out. Open it up. Here it is. Hey, you need to come get this. But let me show you what I'm going to do with it first. And you go to town by yourself. You know how to be one with yourself. You know how to be one with yourself. Get there. Give it to them. Let them see it. Let them see how it flow. Oh. Let them see the throb on that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Or, okay. Wax on. Wax off. We're gonna go in person. So now, we in person. We right next to each other. We finna, you know, Mm -mm. No, don't touch it. Let me show you how to work this. Let me show you what to do. Then you do it. You play with it. You just be one with it. And by the time you finish moaning and groaning and talking your shit and don't let him touch it or yeah, I have men here. You don't let her touch it. And she drooling. You know, because she want to get to it. Don't let her touch it. Mm -mm. Just let it explode. And when it explode. Oh. Okay. Okay. So here we are. <laughs> Between the sheets. These are my action cards. I mean, the erotica cards are some nice, fine. You know, these are all suggestions of what you should do. But these action cards put a whole new flavor on the, on, on, on the whole situation. What you can do is you can get, you can get this deck and just pull some cards and just do what the cards say. They don't even come with instructions because it's self-explanatory. If you don't know what to do with these motherfucking cards, if you don't know what to do with some of these cards, then you know what? That's the maybe I don't know. You need a whole nother session of shit. You need to you need to call me. <laughs> Look here. You look, look at Rochelle. <laughs> you might need to call me. Can I call you? Yes, you might need to call me because now we're going to move into something totally different. No. no. Self-explanatory. Like the first one. I love it. Dirty, flirty sex. Dirty, flirty sex. Dirty, flirty sex is... Of course, when you flirt, when you talk shit, y'all might be out somewhere or you might call them on the phone or FaceTime. Like I said, open that motherfucker up. It is. Go on. You want to shoot it? It is. <laughs> Dirty, 
flirty, flirty sex. Get you some dirty, flirty sex. Flirt with it a little bit. Make it dirty, nasty. Come get this juicy motherfucker. That's what you want. Dudes, men, come get this motherfucker as hard as a rock. Come get it. I want you to sit on it. Or better yet, sit on my face first. Mm. Yeah. Dirty flirty. Talk some shit. Do it. Talk some shit. Then you have your pheromones turn me on. Natural body scent. Pheromones is your own unique scent. I ain't trying to say you stink. Everybody, everybody has their own. Everybody has their own scent. And it drives men crazy. It drives women crazy. Crazy. Now you can mix it with a little perfume or whatever, but your own natural scent. Oh, I love this. That's why I love the smell around a man's neck, right around. Mm -hmm. So beautiful. You get them. Oh, ain't nothing like a good smell of man. Ain't nothing like it, y'all. Ain't nothing like it. Okay, so a good smell of woman. Okay, but who, child? Mm -mm. That natural scent is where it's at. And it is such a turn on. It is such a turn on. Now, if you ain't turned on by that scent, maybe it just ain't for you. Okay, so it's going to make you want to rip that motherfucker panties off. I'm going to tell you. Panties, drawers, just don't even wear none. Okay, because <laughs> it's going to be crazy. It's going to come off. Okay, and then you have the, I want to lick you up and down. As we know, it can go either way. She lick it, he lick it. However, everybody doing something. But that lick you up and down, you know, lick a nipple or two, lick the clit. I'm not one that's just me for the asshole, but if you if you lick an ass, then lick some ass. But lick them up and down. Lick the back of their knees. You know? Lick the ankles. Lick them. Lick them. It's all good. It's all fun. It's all pleasurable. I'm going to pull one more card, y'all. I'm going to pull one more card, and I'm going to close this out because... You know, it's a little too, it's a little too steamy in here for me. It's a little bit, and plus I've taken up enough time. Again, we've talked about the poly relationships. If you have any information? Just go and tell me how that works for you. If you're in one, or if you're interested, or if you know, let me know if this reading resonated with you at all, because. It's definitely resonating with me. I see some shit unfolding. I see it happening. I see it happening really, really nice like. And uh, being that these cards are not coming out like they was before, I'm just going to pull one out just for you. There it is. Boom. I don't know what it is because I just pulled it off the top. What does it say? That neck grasp. <laughs> Baby, put a little choke on that throat. <laughs> put a little choke on that throat. Just, you know what? Just apply. Now, I ain't trying to choke nobody out, lose breath, you're changing colors. No, just a little, just a little pressure. Just let them know you're there, you know? Especially while you get it, don't fuck around and get that shit from the back. And, 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 and he reach around and put a little pressure on your throat, baby. I'm done. Ah, I'm done, son. I'm done. I'm done. See, even, even the cards know it says, you trigger me in such a sexual way. I told you it's getting too hot in here. I'm about to close this down. Look here, lovelies. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me. If it's your first time, Come on back. If it's you coming back, 
continue to come back. Make sure you hit the like, share, and subscribe button. Hit the notification bell button so you don't miss out on future videos. I am coming back with so much more. We're going to get these um, nice, fine zodiacs done. We're going to have a lot more fun because we're going to have a lot more subjects to talk about, okay? Don't forget me. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Meet me back here on Friday. Every Friday. I'm going to make sure I'm here every Friday. This is just a little delay. It was President's Day. We'll say that. No, we ain't going to say that shit. Fuck the president. We're not going to say that. So, um, look, come on back. We're going to have loads of fun, okay? Thank you, lovelies. I love you. And keep it kinky.